John Motson saw this one. A capacity crowd of 19,000 inside Fratton Park, noisily challenging the suggestion that Portsmouth's heart will soon stop beating. Even though the future of this club and its ground are in the balance, the FA Cup brings an injection of optimism to supporters old enough to remember Portsmouth winning the trophy exactly 60 years ago, and younger ones recalling them beating Leeds at Ellen Road two years ago. And it's barely 10 months since Steve Claridge was playing in the semi-final for Wolves. It was the Portsmouth-born striker who scored their winner at Nottingham Forest in the third round. Claridge is partnered up front by 18-year-old Luke Nightingale, while Alan Knight, nearly 20 years his senior, returns in goal for his 784th Pompey appearance. He and midfielder Alan McLaughlin, the only two survivors from the team that came within a penalty shootout of the FA Cup final seven years ago. Well, it's 26 years since Leeds last reached the FA Cup final, and today David O'Leary is down to just 11 fit regulars. Smith, Bowyer and Haaland are suspended. Radova is away with South Africa. Batty is among those injured. Jonathan Woodgate, 19 yesterday, is back from suspension, but three of the substitutes have yet to make their first team debuts. Gary Willard from just along the south coast at Worthing is the referee. Leeds are playing in white shirts from the right-hand side, and Steve Claridge gets the ball at once. This is Corston playing uh, his first full game, or starting a game for the first time for Leeds, having made his debut last week as a sub. Now the captain today, David Hopkin. And Leeds are going to play, it seems, a flat back four with Gunnar in midfield. That's how it started. The face of experience, Alan Ball, who's seen most of it before. Kewell is going to be a bit of a threat to Portsmouth, I think. So good when he's running with the ball. And the defenders here really were backing off a little bit against Harry Kewell. This is incessant. Alan Ball's blue and white army. This is Claridge, now it's Perron, outside him is Simpson, he's taking on Hart, is Jeff Perron, good move by Pompey, Claridge, helped it on, Mighty Gale, it's in, Pause for them scored first, it's Luke Nightingale, the 18 year old, Alan Ball's team in the lead, with less than nine minutes gone. And really, Jeff Perron, the Frenchman, did tremendously well on the left. Claridge here plays a part, but it's the 18-year-old Nightingale who steers the ball into the net. Steve Claridge, a lovely little step over there that surprised the defenders, and it's Nightingale who gets in front of Igo to claim the goal. Leeds have got some rethinking to do. They have a corner, and this will mean the first real test of the Portsmouth defence. David Weatherall, always a challenger in these positions. It's been played short, though. It's Hart with the cross. Weatherall's coming in now, but they've got it at the back on their first, and there's the equaliser. Weatherall so dangerous in those situations. And he's done what he did at Walsall in the Cup a few years ago. He's rescued Leeds from a very difficult situation. The cross comes in here from Ian Hart. And David Weatherall, jumping at the back post, has equalised within two or three minutes of Leeds going behind. What a start to this fourth-round Cup tie.
so the first division team were in front for barely two or three minutes and suddenly it's the Leeds fans at the right hand end who are celebrating there's Robinson it came to McLaughlin well it's come to the boil so quickly this match you wonder if they can sustain this McLaughlin with a shot that was going away from Martin's left hand post they've only been playing a quarter of an hour but already an awful lot's happened here with two Portsmouth players and McLaughlin heads it behind, that's a corner. Well, Kuehl fouled by Igo, free kick to Leeds not far outside the penalty area after that rather unusual variation on a corner. Hasselback nods to Hart, oh, what a drive, what a goal! the left foot scores for Leeds to put them in front Hasselbank just gave him the nod to say you take it and Hart with that trusty left foot fired it beyond Alan Knight it's Portsmouth 1, Leeds 2 beautifully struck and only 16 minutes gone well O'Leary now can look on the match from a slightly different perspective. And it's Kewell for Leeds. Forston goes to the right, Hasselbank's here now. That's Hasselbank, it's come partly back off the goalkeeper. Hasselbank who had the drive. Kewell was following in for a possible rebound. So, ten minutes left in the first half, they got off to a whirlwind start. That's a free kick to Portsmouth, who didn't have long to reflect on their lead. Here's Simpson. Claridge. Oh, it's a fine try. He came in from that side last week against Huddersfield and scored. And it was nearly a replica. Goalkeeper was at full stretch there, Nigel Martin. And it was, at one point, soaring towards the top corner, it seemed. And again, it's Claridge. Well, good decision. Referee discovered a split second to see if he got a real advantage, and when he didn't, he blew. And Portsmouth have a free kick. Four minutes before half time, which uh, Whitbread has gone forward, and so has Lacos. Claridge. Oh, he did well to turn that across, and it's come off Nightingale, who didn't know much about it at the near post. Claridge, the sort of player who can make something out of very little. And there wasn't much in that. And the half-time whistle goes with Leeds of the Premiership 2-1 up after going one down so early. A sparkling cup tie, Portsmouth 1, Leeds 2 at the halfway point. And it's a senior debut for 18-year-old Welsh lad Matthew Jones. He's a B and under-21 international. And he comes on at half-time in place of the injured Danny Granville, who has a hamstring injury. So Leeds have had to reorganise somewhat, I suspect. Ian Hart will now go and play at left-back, and Gunnar Haller will come into the right-back position, allowing Jones to play in his uh, familiar midfield spot. I go for Portsmouth. This is 
is Kewell. Hart. Oh, Hasselbach's pulled away from Blackos, who just made up the ground. Corner to Leeds. Weatherall's there again. And so was Lapis. Back in by Kewell. And by Weatherall. What a defending to be done here by Portsmouth. And still it's Hopkin. Plays the ball in. To Woodgate, back out to Hasselbank. And still Jimmy Hasselbank. Oh, it misses across the goal to Kewell. Scored again, it's Harry Kewell. It's 3 1 to the Premiership side. This is Jimmy Hasselbank with a cross that really evaded everybody until it reached Kewell on the far side of the area. And what a good placement there! And it's Portsmouth 1, Leeds United 3.